Uh, that uh, yeah, the recording is in progress. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm sorry, I'm a little late. I was having some trouble getting uh, my uh, my thing started here, but we're we're fine now. And there are a whole bunch of people who want to join us uh, from the uh, citizen panel, so I'll admit all of them. Let me just make sure they're all legitimate people. Yes, they are. Here come the legitimate people. Uh, there's Rick Sheckman, and there's uh, Marjorie Miller, and Jeff Stein, and Scott Boddicker. And uh, let me see here, Jeff Stein. Uh, who else? Uh, oh, Edward Berger. That's oh, right. That's right. <laughs> uh, Candace and Mike Chisholm. We always just see Mike Chisholm. And the adorable and incredible Jeff Stein, who forgets to put his camera on. <laughs> Paul Levin. Paul Eleven. Hello there, Paul Eleven. Not to be excused. You know, uh, confused with Paul at 12. <laughs> so uh, let me see here. Uh, and we got Charlie Wallace coming in and Vernon Nunn. Oh, wow. wow. Son Where's of a Paula? Uh Huh? Where's Paula? I don't see her. I'm, he, I'm waiting. <laughs> you got to get your, there's your picture. There okay, is. there you go. Gosh. Okay. Hi. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on. Here, here she comes. Uh, Mandy O'Brien. So now we got a lucky 13 people immediately here. Yeah. Who knows if more don't join. So how'd you all enjoy the, uh, the uh, Super Bowl? That was a good game. Huh? Good game. Very exciting. Good game. Yeah. I Very think it was a bad decision. In the last two minutes on the on the Chiefs. It's a bad decision. But refs are gonna make bad calls every now and then. We made a bad call two minutes before the end. Oh yeah. Oh, so would it be okay in the first <laughs> quarter? But what about in the playoffs where the Chiefs got the benefit of it also with the against the Bengals? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It, it happens, it's life. <laughs> <laughs> can I just can I ask you all a very simple question? Uh, Who which cares? I can't, I can't answer. <laughs> Who won? <laughs> a football team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How about the, the the concessions in Arizona? All the all the all the businesses won. Hotels. The, oh yeah. Oh, do you know what I? What did I? How much did I see? A a, a ticket was going for four thousand no, dollars. they got that was complimentary price. Really? They paid forty five a ticket, and that was complimentary price because they had an in. The tickets were going for ten thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Oh boy. Now, who who Crazy. would pay that kind of money? Well, Phyllis is a. a daughter-in-law and son and their kids about five of them all your went friend out phyllis there. yeah yeah paul mccartney to... paul mccartney probably did he was oh, there. yeah yeah i mean yeah sure the rich people get to go yeah. it's not I'm a people's sure. sport anymore i'm there, shocked yeah. I'm, I'm shocked i'm totally shocked i thought the first half was really um fun to watch I thought I thought it was you know they were evenly matched i'm not a football fan but you know like uh i stayed with it I thought it was. I uh, thought the, the halftime show sucked. <laughs> yeah, I just, I <laughs> <keep them up. laughs> well, Charlene doesn't say much on these shows, but she just did. <laughs> I really did, Charlene. <laughs> I, was, I was worried all those dancers on those platforms were going to fall off. Me yeah, too. Me. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I, a lot of people were worried that uh, Rihanna would lose her baby because <laughs> she was pregnant last yeah. night. That's the only thing I know about last night's Super Bowl is she was pregnant. Yes, she is. Yeah. I can't tell her when she isn't pregnant. That's <laughs> the second one, Alex. Huh? Baby, baby it's got back. Second baby. Yeah. What? It's her second baby. It's her second baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. By the same guy? I don't follow her. So I who's your boyfriend? Is your boyfriend is your boyfriend or his her guy the the weekend? No, he's ASAP. Oh, he's ASAP Rocky. <laughs> okay. And why I know that I don't this? know. I don't, I know, don't know. know all this. Right? Because I mean, like for instance, if you're the wife of the weekend, wait, 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 Mrs. Wait, Weekend, Alex. what? 
Charlene, how do you know all this? That's what I said. <laughs> I don't know why I knew that. Probably because I have kids. <laughs> I have my kids, but that's yeah, but I, I, I correct. I have no what, idea how I know that. Where what kind of world do I live in where I corrected you that it wasn't ASAP, it was ASAP Rocky? <laughs> <laughs> Same world I live in. Yeah. So. Is that who it was? <laughs> Yeah, I hope this gets us get a, gets a lot of kids listening to us today. <laughs> Don't count on it. <laughs> my, my daughter was over watching the game and and watching the halftime show with us, Alex, and I could not understand a word that Rihanna was singing, but I was listening to my daughter because she knew all the lyrics. Oh, really? She was singing along with Rihanna, and that's the only way I could tell what Rihanna was singing because wow. my daughter was singing the lyrics herself. She knew all the lyrics. Yeah. You know what bothers me, though? Yes. And I got to bring this up, Marjorie, because it involves you. In fact, it is about you. <laughs> Sometimes we'll be watching TV and there'll be somebody singing a song and she starts singing along with it. You got to. What well, not when you got to. I want to hear the person who's singing the song. Is that old fashioned? Yeah. It just is, Alex. <laughs> Accept it. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll do it when some of your favorite singers come on. And I'll, I, didn't mind, I didn't mind it in this case because my daughter knew all the lyrics. Otherwise, yeah. I wouldn't have known what Rihanna was singing. Now, yeah. Has anyone ever heard any of those going. songs before? I, I didn't know what. I've never heard any of those. I didn't well, either. of course, Mike so Chisholm is, is a with it guy. So he, <laughs> you, you, know, you, you heard the, all of those songs before? Well, let's not go that far saying I'm with it. But yes, um, every single song that she sang uh, with maybe the maybe one exception, but every single one. And I thought it finished really, really well. I actually really liked her. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Um, what, what were those songs? Uh, she did Shut Up and Drive. She did Umbrella, uh, Run This Town. Um, Bitch Better Have My Money. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Um, and I, I can't think of the other ones off the top of my head, but money. like I thought, I thought Umbrella was really good. I got, I got goosebumps by the time she was finishing it off, and that's always a hallmark for me. If I get goosebumps, I, I, I dig it. Uh, you get goosebumps watching reruns of Letterman. That's true. <laughs> that is true. I definitely do that as well. Now, I, I, I and there's something else here. Did you just get a new haircut, uh, man? Who's that? Oh. What me? Oh. Yeah. Did you get a new haircut? A haircut? No. Or oh. <laughs> oh, whatever women do to their hair, no. it looks fluffier today. Oh, am I having a good hair day? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it was very windy outside when I went to lunch. Maybe is, it, <laughs> is, it, is it natural or extensions? Oh no, that's a natural. I don't think. I don't think. Mandy, do you ever wear extensions? No. See, I, I wouldn't take her for an extension kind of gal. My daughter has. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Marjorie it doesn't have any extensions, but that's because she doesn't have anything to hang them on to. So it's. <laughs> Hi, dear. How are you today? Hi. Yeah. I bet you can think of something at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something to hang. Uh. Yeah. So anyway, so I, I, I just, you know, again, you know, I say this, I've said this before, I've said this a thousand times. Uh, I don't understand how football is played. So it's insane for me to even try watching it because I'm the most annoying guy in the world. If I say, well, what happened? You know, and everybody knows what happened except me, you know, so I don't well, know. I interject that I, I think that it, if you're not a fan of Rihanna, you aren't going to like the show. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually have a workout song to one of her songs. So, I mean, I. Yeah. Is, I, she, is, she I, the one that sang, is she the one that sang, uh, if you want it, you got to put a ring on it? No, that's Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce. How do I know these things? <laughs> <laughs> All I know is, is richer. She's richer than any of those people that were playing on the field. She's worth like one oh, yeah. billion dollars. Yeah. She's, she's a real billionaire. One point four billion dollars. Yeah, not a fake one like uh, Trump. No, she's a real entrepreneur. One oh. point though, when she was like the camera was like in front of her, like following her down this line at the dancers, mm -hmm. and one of the dancers handed her a compact, and she mm -hmm. did like this because she has a makeup line. That's right. part of. Oh boy. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I know that because I read it in the paper this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, I was like, that's good. That is so I don't know if the NFL does this or not, but at one time the NFL would pay these people to perform at halftime. Now they're asking the performers to pay yeah. them yeah. a percentage oh, boy, of their sales increases based on their appearance. Wow. Are they doing that? Really? They yeah. used to. I don't know if they still are. I don't think somebody like Rihanna would go along with that. Yeah. Oh, she was lip sync the whole thing. I know. Oh, yeah. I, I, but I saw a little bit. I didn't think it was lip syncing. I thought she was actually going for it. I, I looked at it. I looked no, at it. They already they, proved she was lip syncing. I looked at a video. Oh, of it. That breaks I, looked my heart. At, I looked at a video of it. And immediately I said, that's lip syncing. Mm -hmm. I you know? definitely think Cheryl Lee, Lee Ralph lip syncs, even though I yeah. like her. Like well, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why they lip sync many cases because they're dancing you're around. You're in a stadium with 50,000, 60,000 people. Yeah. It sounds like the national anthem. Well, also, you don't jump around like that and, and are able to not get out of breath on some level and you lose your breath and your ability to sing. Well, and when you sing, by the time the echo gets back to you, you know, it's, it's just too far. You yeah. can't do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're usually I wearing earphones, though. You've got it in here. Well, the people on Broadway can can do it. Uh, um, mm. Can 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 dance around and, and sing. You know, that's they can do. Well, yeah, but they're on a small though. stage. More right, or less. right, 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 right. Well, I, I I understand why she wouldn't want. And not be, it, many times not being lifted high in the air and doing this and that. And I'm sure that, that that's not practical. I'm sure that when they do it on Broadway, they they check it out to make sure people don't get out of breath doing a particular number and you they know, don't get criticized in the newspaper in the next uh, morning right yeah, right well you know i mean i don't see anything wrong with lip syncing she was there to perform but they say okay. in all the super bowls they lip sync all of them i hope it, i hope whitney houston didn't because that that would crush me knowing if she didn't really sing that for real oh and, she lip oh. sync too they all do up with people probably didn't in 1968, <laughs> but that's a different story. Oh, you we were talking about this yesterday, right, Jackie? That they, they thought yeah. it was a good idea. They thought that well, was a really good idea. Yeah, we're gonna have up with people, but then they also again. I was just not listening. The national anthem, and let's cut to the coach with tears coming out of his eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. yeah, I I thought really, really. <laughs> it's the God. And by the way, the guy who sang it and coming up is Alex Bennett singing nationally. And it's like, who the blank is Alex Bennett? <laughs> That's because you're not a country <laughs> music fan. That's Chris yeah, but, Stapleton. But, but, He's a guy. Uh, okay, I'll agree. I, and they're like eight-time Grammy Award winner. Still never heard of the man. Let me tell you, I do not like country music. I'm not, but I like him. I like his music. I like him. Yeah. That's one exception. Okay, that's fine. I know I'm not, that's nothing against the gentleman. Yeah. But it's like, oh, and don't <laughs> miss the national anthem being sung by, you know. Um, I thought it was funny the guy was crying. I was like, really? Give me a break. Mm -hmm. It's the first time he heard the song. <laughs> it was his first <laughs> Super Bowl. Give me a break. Very good. Got his Very team good. to the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Yes, he was emotional. You're right. <laughs> Sometimes they also use doubles. Uh, I was watching an old clip of Michael Jackson's performance, and he they, they show him on screen and then there's an explosion that goes upwards and then he appears on the top of the of the of the screen live and then it does it on another screen and then he appears on that uh, on that live on that on standing on top of, of that screen and then he appears on stage in an explosion okay two of those were not michael jackson all right uh and i remember years ago when i went to a a prince concert i swear to you prince had doubles because he couldn't get from one place to another as fast as he did so they they use doubles and whatever but i, I don't think you should complain about it only it's because a performance it's the performance that counts you know but was it a good performance who cares if it was lip synced you know well, the i was with yesterday were like i quit watching the halftime show after prince died like they they 
Prince was the greatest halftime performer ever. So we just well, nobody. I did, I did see a thing today where I can't remember who it was, but it was some music organization who said that Prince was the best halftime. Yeah. You know, ever. Let me see if this is Ray. Okay. Uh, let me see here. It, it, maybe here comes Ray. See, I don't know. I, some some of these people I'm I'm questioning Ray. only because somebody was oh there it is there it is okay there is our old friend Ray uh, the real Ray huh it's the real Ray hello it's, it's the real Ray yeah yep hello Ray hey how's it going and uh, glad you could join our nice little group here me too yeah. <laughs> We got two more people to call. We'd have sixteen people. Do you realize that? Looks like a really bad Brady Bunch episode. <laughs> <laughs> What's the record, Alex? How many people have you actually had on one of these? I don't remember. I think it's somewhere around sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, yeah. Not on this one, uh, but on the nighttime show. But that's gone down significantly. Uh, but uh, it, people do still watch our videos. I turned out a video that was actually pre-produced of us going to lunch. I that saw that. Yeah, yeah. That I thought too. And that, that was, was up. and and that got like four hundred views already. You know, so, I enjoyed that. You know, and that was pre-recorded. So, mm. but uh, Marjorie was didn't want me to put it up because I I said that we kind of look old on it. But oh brother! And I, I, I then I I changed it and said, really, I look old. You look great. You Marjorie was that. a badass on that. <laughs> I was a badass. <laughs> both were. You her, both were. Her cap and her glasses and her sharp. <laughs> cap. Yeah. Well. It hides up a myriad of things. But anyway. Oh, yes, that's <laughs> true. I, I like the scenes of your apartment building. You know, you got the courtyard, you got the outside, you know. Yeah, all all in under construction. It's a mess. For how and many fact, years? I, I'm having a hard time talking right now because they were raising so much dust today out there that I just, you know, I start plugging up. Yeah, it comes in through the cracks. Yeah. Uh, hey, Alex. Yes. I can share a little bit about that lip syncing thing about why they do it, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I've done a ton of musicals. Also, you might not know it, but today Ray's call, he's lip syncing. So <laughs> yeah, I am <laughs> lip syncing. <laughs> and, and it's also a deep fake. You know, it's that, not really me. It's really Tony Magno. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it could be, actually. <laughs> oh, no. It's gonna... uh, uh, so I just... Uh, I think the main thing is they don't have to rehearse much. So like years ago, they had to rehearse more. Be when you're moving that much uh, and you're singing and you're dancing mm -hmm. a lot like that, mm -hmm. you need to rehearse because you got to figure out where you got to breathe. And like you said, it's just like uh, there's a lot that goes into coordinating the movement and the, and the singing. They don't have to worry about that anymore. So they, they just show up and if they know the choreography, they're fine. Do they lip sync their concerts? Sometimes they do now, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you see, in that case, I'd be a little mad if I were a concert goer because I'm paying to hear the person in concert. All right. Yeah. I have to see them lip sync in concert. Now, that was the, the deal Super with Brittany. Bowl, huh? Britney's residency in Vegas, they actually said, you're going to come out and you're going to see Britney give a performance where she lip syncs to her. Like they were way up, right up front about it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But I mean, I, I think people shouldn't care as much about the Super Bowl because they're not really there for Rihanna. They're there for the game. Yeah. Right? Also, and people so are so used to perfection and sound now uh, that, you know, they're going to notice if it. And I'll tell you, if you're, if you're sitting out in an audience at a concert and a person is lip syncing, you can't tell. Mm -hmm. You uh, know, even if they're lip syncing bad, you can't tell. Well, I went to a foreigner concert once a couple years ago, and I knew they were lip syncing because I heard people singing and nobody on stage had their mouth open. So that was a sign. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, let me see here. What else? Uh, there was something with Bob Hope I remember once on one of his specials. It was later on in his life. And uh, he was telling jokes, and there were massive laughs from people. Ah. And, and then he saw the backs of the people, the audience, 
and not one of those backs was moving like this, <laughs> you know. Uh, so anyway, I, mean, I remember Shecky and I were uh, we were driving through. I think it might have been Kentucky. There was some place with a log cabin. <laughs> It was reputed to be the actual log cabin of Abe Lincoln. Oh, not moved. the one you're oh, told man. is that we were on a side road and like, oh, okay. Yeah. And we were listening to an old Bob Hope radio show. Oh, horrible shows. And we both looked at each other and went, he was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes were just so horrible. Uh, you know, he didn't have great writers, did he? Well, he had some good Melville Shavison and people like that. Yeah. Well, but I bought it. that. I bought a set of that. We we stopped when we were in Arizona at Costco. Yeah. And they just brought out a box set of Bob Hope radio shows. Oh, really? What what the hell is what? this? It's what happened? Or, it, 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 something came up that said explore yeah, new tools. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I got, got that too. I got, I got that too. What do, you, what do we Jeff do? Stein. Jeff what Stein is sharing his screen. Oh, um, how do I get rid of it? What do we do? I don't want to touch something because I'm going to screw it up. So. I want to see what he draws. Can only be closed by the host or person. Well, okay, here. You're the host. Yes. You want to close it? Yes. No, I want to close it. No. What is this? I don't want a whiteboard. <laughs> Mine, sa mine says you are co-editing Jeff Stein. No. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Wow, was it was it that way on on the show or was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he was going to draw a pair of boobies or something. Yeah, now now Jeff's gone. <laughs> <laughs> now Jeff is gone. Oh, boy, I don't see oh, me. Anyway, well, that's you know, Zoom graffiti right there. Alex, <laughs> no, I mean, how dare they? Did anybody touch anything that says whiteboard while we were doing this? No, I didn't I, either. Obviously, it just did, decided uh, it was going to ask me if I wanted to use a whiteboard. And what well, is a whiteboard, by the way? A whiteboard is like you know, like you go to business <laughs> meetings and they have a big whiteboard up there and the guy draws it's things like on a blackboard. Them. Only it's a whiteboard. Yeah, okay. there aren't blackboards anymore. Racial. Well, it's a replacement of what we grew up with. The, the, uh, no more chalk. The chalk in the board. Oh, I, 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 I'm surprised I didn't get cancer at a young age from all that chalk. Yeah, I have to clean chalk. Oh, yeah, and if oh, you were the great. bad kid in the class, they made you go out and pound them. No, yeah. good kids. Everybody wanted to do it. Everybody volunteered. Oh, I did. And shake, yeah. and shake them, not bad kids. Everyone wanted to do it. Oh. Got out of your class. You went down to the yeah. basement. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Fun. Any, anyway, that's what a whiteboard is. So now they have a whiteboard on here so that if somebody's doing a you know a lesson. A, a lesson of some sort, they can use the whiteboard to illustrate what what's going on. But yeah, okay. How do you get to it? You know what happened yesterday? <clears throat> I um my, my voice feels so stressed from this dust. Um yesterday. I get a thing from YouTube. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Said, yeah I saw that too. It said, said, we have removed your show because it did not, it went against our standards for misinformation. <laughs> and the date for that show was April 24th, 2020. <laughs> And I'm thinking to myself, it took you three years to find that? <laughs> so I wrote him a nasty note. I said, your algorithms are really need to be, you know, retooled. <laughs> I said, you come after me for something that was done three years ago? I mean, if you really were worried about it, you should have done it right then and there. Yeah. And I yelled, I wrote a nasty note to him. And within 10 minutes, they said, okay, we put it back up. <laughs> you know, what it was, we, we, a bunch of people, I think maybe Scott was even there talking about COVID. What's talking about COVID. And I think Phil uh, was talking about, well, do we really know that it is this or that? But this is 2020. What did we know back then? Oh. You know? So somebody i don't know an algorithm said oh this is not 
does not meet our definition of global. So then they had a real human listen to it, and they said, "Okay, you know, it's fine." So that, that's why. And I put, not that anyone is listening to it three years later, <laughs> right? And I said to them in the note, I said, "I really am not disturbed over you getting rid of something that's three years old, you know, uh, but uh, it's the principle of it, you know." But that's the same thing. Like all of a sudden, Zoom decides they've got to put up the the whiteboard, and and you say it all happened with you too as well. Yeah. 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 Boy, you know, and I pay for this. Okay. <laughs> so, Alex, yeah, did you see any of the movie trailers that uh, dropped yesterday? Movie trailers. Yeah, so the Super Bowl commercials, one of the big things now is dropping new movie trailers. They dropped a Flash trailer that I thought looked really, really good. I don't know if you guys saw it yet. Didn't it start with Batman or something? Yeah. Yeah, With Michael Keaton, really? Yep. Yeah. Michael Keaton's Batman. Bringing him back? Yeah. 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 He's in the the Flash film, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Him and Affleck and a whole bunch of stuff. uh, And there's 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 one called. Uh, Air, which is about uh, Michael Jordan and Air Jordans. Oh, I yeah. saw that. Ben Affleck and and um, and Dunkin' Donuts and Damon. Not Damon. Not Damon. Well, they did Ben Affleck uh, at a Dunkin' Donuts drafter. Yeah. That was a commercial. Yeah. yeah. That, that, was, was, that was funny. And a new in, the new Indiana Jones trailer dropped as well. Guardians of the Galaxy, lots of good ones. Oh, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I'm not going to watch a whole stupid game so I can see the commercials. Plus, I can probably go on YouTube today. And oh, you can go online. I they're think all they're all available. Yeah. Did yeah. you see yeah. the electric car yeah. commercial at the end? Yeah. That was pretty funny, I thought. What well, What was the electric car commercial? Well, it was It was, it was like if you have a trouble with elect- early electronification yeah, or something. Yeah. Like that. And there's like a parallel to like premature ejaculation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. E-E, something they called it. Yeah, E-E. Pre- premature electrification or something. Like yeah, that. and yeah, they had yeah. these women like talking about their husbands, but they they were talking about the car, but you, they could apply it to their to their Johnson. So uh, <laughs> it was pretty damn funny, I have to say. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> you know, there was a time when they wouldn't standards and practices would not allow that commercial on the air. <laughs> it, it was clean. It was it was hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Wow. Well, Our tastes have changed. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Quite. Right. Right. Well, it wasn't really in bad taste if you see it. It was kind of, it was really. Well, I mean, I'm not saying it's in bad taste. I'm yeah. saying that in a couple of years ago, that would not get past standards and practices. Yeah, but yeah. we used to have a standards and practices at the networks. Oh, they, I still, don't, they don't they, exist. What do you mean they don't oh, exist? Really? I, I think well, they, they, they got rid of the censors like at oh. Letterman. They were let go, you know, they were gone. Really, but you still couldn't go on the air. It became standards and practices. Okay, but I mean, you couldn't go on the air and say something really dicey. Mm, You couldn't say certain words, but you could say certain innuendos. And you you could say you could you could put it indirectly. Yeah. Yeah. So when Letterman used to make those censor joke remarks, he was just taught they weren't really even there anymore. Well, there were in the early well, days. Oh, in the um, early days? Around 2010, maybe, they had gotten rid of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know they got rid of them all together, though. Oh, yeah. That department was let go. So, but, but if there was something that was questionable, did somebody at the network complain to you guys? It would be Vinny calling Leslie. Oh, really? Oh, okay. You know, Vinny would be, you know, like, well, wait a minute. And then, you know, we would go like, oh, wait a minute. We're still doing it. Okay. (laughs) There was still that one going way back. It was when Steve Martin made a remark about Poon Tank. And none of us had any idea what the hell he was talking about. Poon Tang or Crowley 
Poontang. Flagged it, and she brought out a dictionary of unacceptable words. <laughs> and Poontang was there. Yeah, yeah. Which I believe is black vagina, I believe. Oh, no, it's That's black it's for vagina. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not necessarily a black vagina. Uh, Charlie? <laughs> That was that was a, a word for the female sex organ. Yeah. 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 Bill Murray used it in uh, Caddyshack. Says, "I smell vermin poontang. The only good vermin poontang is dead." Yeah, and I think poontang. I think the way Steve Martin referred to it was like something like poon from the tang region or something like that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oops. And it got flagged, and you know, Jane Crowley is we're all in the control room, is with her, you know, synonym dictionary. Well, know. let's see if uh, let's see if uh, YouTube demonetizes <laughs> you for this yeah. discussion. You have to wait three years. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm still alive, I'll let you know in three years. Good one. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. What, wasn't this? Uh, wasn't there a time when the Smothers Brothers were canceled because they went against the Vietnam War or something like that? Anybody well, remember? More or less. Went against a few things. They got into trouble for yeah. They were well, you know, I mean, also, you know, the, the, part of the game is knowing how to play the network, you know, and the, the Smothers Brothers weren't very good at it. Uh, Dave was exceptionally good at it, and so was Steve Martin. But yeah. You know. And so was Johnny Carson. Yeah, but Johnny Carson never got over, never peeked over the edge of the ledge, you know. But Dave every now and then did. Um, but, walk right up to it, though. Yeah, yeah, walk right up to it. I mean, that, that's, the, that's the job. I mean, I used to say that it's a tightrope act that we're all playing. Like when I was doing a morning show in San Francisco, I used to say it's, I, I walk right up to the edge and I look over the edge. But I never jump. And and the idea is you're walking a tightrope, never fall off of it, but you you walk on that, but you gotta walk that tightrope in order for people to think you're at least doing something that's got some balls. Well, didn't late light radio have uh, more latitude? What? Didn't late night radio have not more really, latitude? Not not really, although the FCC came up with a stupid rule. And that was that after 10 o'clock at night, you could do stuff you couldn't do before 10 o'clock at night. Because the kids the kiddies would still be, are watching. The kiddies yeah. would still be awake. And I'm thinking to myself, my father was a musician. My mother kept me up till two o'clock in the morning. So when he came home from a gig, he could see me and I could see him. Okay. Uh, and I wasn't a traditional kid. I didn't go to bed at the traditional times. Well, I mean, what, how dare you tell America what time they put their kids to bed? You know, I mean, if you're worried about that, what they're what they're saying is we just don't want any crap from people. We don't want misery. You know, uh, we uh, all of a sudden you got sponsors complaining. Oh, Dave did this or Alex did that or whatever. And and uh, they, they and they're very sheepish, very sheepish. I mean, the, but again, on our show. I got to admit, say, the people who, quote, were our censors were wonderful people. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, Jane Crowley, um, wonderful woman. And that's the one Johnny Carson would refer to as Priscilla Goodbuddy. <laughs> she was the censor on the Carson New York Tonight Show. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you know, I mean, uh, Alex, yes. When you went to Sirius and that tightrope no longer existed anymore, was there a period of adjustment for you where you could say anything you wanted? Uh, initially, when I started, I said I wasn't going to say any four-letter words, and within a week, I was using, you know. Um, but you know, I was. It's funny. I could go back and forth between both. I would do sometimes go over and do W O R here in New York. And automatically, there was a switch in my mind that went, okay, clean. You know, you can't use those words. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe it was a little too easy. It's serious. You know, that's why in the beginning, I didn't want to do it because I wanted to see if I could 
be interesting without having to say four letter words. Then I realized that the use of four letter words at Sirius pretty much said to the audience, hey, you're not listening to regular radio. You know, you're, you're listening to a, a different medium here. And, and that when, when you heard those words, all of a sudden went, oh, well, you know. Well, you said yesterday you've been gone from Sirius for 10 years now. 10 years, oh, yeah. That's amazing. I can't wow. believe that. 10 years, April. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I'm still alive. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, it... Uh, it so the sensors are... Uh, I, I don't know. I never... We never had sensors at radio stations. But we censored ourselves because we knew we could get in trouble. You had the idea that if you said a four-letter word, the whole station would be closed down by the FCC. <laughs> Oddly enough, up until a few years ago, in almost 50 years, nobody ever lost a license for a four-letter word. They lost licenses for, like, reporting their financials wrong and doing, you know, illegal things. But they never lost it for, you know, content. So that whole thing when the boss would come into me, he said, we can't do that because, you know, the FCC will come down on us. And I'd go, come on. The FCC doesn't come down on anybody, you know. So everybody lived in fear of this mythical hammer that was going to come down. And it never did. Never did. You know. But but it worked because, you know, uh, there were there were some standards that people didn't cross. It's not like social media where people can say yeah. anything that they want. Well, yeah. we used to yeah, have but it. the broadcaster in those days, like Alex, knew I got a job. I'm not going to lose it because I'm going to say whatever. Right. Exactly. But I'll walk up to the cliff and look over, you know, I'll do that tightrope walk that's got to be done in order to get an audience. Right. Um, but, yeah, but you're not going to quote, I don't know who call you a shock jock, but even Howard Stern has never, you know, yeah, yeah, gone over that ledge, can we call it? You know, Howard in the very beginning when he went to Sirius didn't use any four letter words, you know, no, just suggested language, yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, I often wondered how he would do it serious because where you're in a place where you can do anything you want to, all the stuff that made him a shock jock just wasn't shocking any longer. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh so now he's your he's your he's your father's disc jockey. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> so mm. you know it's weird. He's got a gray beard, but this wig that he wears of curls. It's all dark. I don't know if it's a wig. It's a wig. It's yeah. extensions, I know. Yeah. So that's a wig. <clears throat> I mean, the man's 70, so it's probably, and I don't know this, probably is a hair piece. And he's Jewish, so he's probably bald. <laughs> <laughs> well, that way he can go to restaurants and nobody will recognize him. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> that's right. You know. Um, do you notice that uh, uh, guys growing beards a lot? Uh, I just saw um, you, Lori, on, uh, uh, on YouTube doing a Stephen Colbert. He's got it all. He's like Dave. He's got the whole thing, you know. They don't like. Look, I don't like shaving. You know what can I tell you? Well, yeah, I don't like shaving either. That's why I only do it once a week. But uh, I don't know that I can't. I can't grow out here. It just it looks. Try you tell him, Marjorie. You know what it looked like when I tried. You know, like I don't think Dave is, has actually shaved since our final show, which will be eight years in May. No, he has shaved because I saw him on something the other well, day. Well, no, he's, he's shaved he's done a down, trim. but he's oh, trim. That's a very different shaved. experience, though. But it's yep. so ugly. But he's cut it down. <laughs> you know, he looks like an Amish guy with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah well you know i mean um I, yeah it's easy top you know or whatever you know I, i'd shave this beard off in a second but i'm trying to piss marjorie off no <laughs> so it's fine and that's what dave's doing with his beard well because everyone hates it so he you know it's the old i'm digging my heels in 
Actually, I've gotten used to seeing him with it, but what I see is a very old man. He looks like one of the Smith brothers. <laughs> yeah, it does. But what would he look like without it? And I can't tell you. You know, one of the Smith brothers without a beard. At least. <laughs> yeah, a seventy-five-year-old man without a beard. I mean, my friend, my friend uh, Albert, my ex-producer, it's got a beard down to here now. I saw that. Yeah. He looks old now with that beard. Yeah. And he's not that old. I know. Yeah. But, and I asked him, and I think he did it to piss his wife off. You know, he said, oh, my whole family hates it. That's why I'm keeping it. You know. <laughs> but, I mean, that, that's what happens when you don't have to go to work. I was mentioning this to Marjorie the other day. She said, what day is it today? And I said, it's uh, Saturday. And I said, she said, oh, it is, isn't it? I said, yeah. And the problem is that when you're not working, you lose all track of what day it is. Do you, does that happen to you, Shecky? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I think it was Friday. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, what's today? And now it's Saturday. Oh, OK. And then Sunday, it's like, oh, well, Alice will call me at some point. You know, whatever. Yeah. If I don't call you, you don't know it's Sunday. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I call you on a Saturday, you go, oh, is this Sunday? <laughs> you know? But I'm saying that when you don't go to work, you have no measurement of what day it is any longer. Do You you go to work, though, don't you, Vernon? You go to Home, Home Depot, Depot on Fridays. On fr only one day a week. Yeah. So you have some way to say, hey, I'm coming up tomorrow. I've got to go to work. Well, on Tuesdays, I volunteer at Habitat. Those well, are my two see, days. You've got a schedule. Yeah. yeah. We don't. We just sit here. <laughs> Marjorie rots her brain watching MSNBC all the time. And uh, I'm on the computer looking for the latest illnesses that I have. Or rotting your brain, pl brain playing video games. Well, yeah, I, I, well, I haven't played it lately. You know, mainly because now that, uh, now that they got the TV show, The Last of Us, uh, I can't bring myself to play the game mm. and, because I want to I don't want it to interrupt my enjoyment of the story they're doing on TV, which has many differences from the game. Uh, so I just don't I don't play it. But uh, um, I play that game through by three times, something like that. You know, once you do it once, you can get through it the next time really fast. And then after that, even faster. Yeah, so you even go and watch the people that did it. Yeah. Anybody here watching The Last of Us? I am. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. We're just starting it. Yeah. It's a, uh, I think it's a, it's, it, it, it's well done. You know, I have a problem with it only in that I played the game. And so now I'm watching how they're interpreting the game for a TV show that can appeal to everybody. And uh, but I like what they've done with it, you know, so. Eh. It, 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 just stop it. <laughs> <laughs> stop it. My kids watch it and I ask them, do you guys watch it? And they go, well, how do you know? I said, because Alex told me. <laughs> 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 well, I said to Ben, I'm going to wait till the season is over and then I'll watch it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it, I think you know I did watch Kunk on Earth. Uh, I think did, did you mentioned that. Uh, no. Uh. Uh. Anybody no, know? I, anybody I know, know what you're. I know what you're talking about, but I don't. Something on it. Earth. She's. It's hilarious. It's wonderful. It's. It's a. It, it's a. A mockumentary. You know, and she comes on like like uh, um. Somebody who was, ru was running a, a, an intelligent uh, um, show, and she's absolutely stupid, and she interviews real people. She's British. Um, it's like Monty Python kind of humor. It's like you know, uh, British style humor. I thought it was great. What's the name of the show? Kunk on Earth. Kunk on Earth. Yeah, it's on. Uh, it's on Netflix, right? Yeah. 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 So anyway, the latest news is though that. You remember we? I was telling you that the problem was that Discovery bought uh, Warner, Time Warner. Okay. Now Discovery is the worst fucking 
channel in America. You know, it's it's just it's just a little bit of everything and nothing much. But they bought it. So now they got to uh, cut out three billion dollars of bottom line. So they're getting rid of shows on on HBO Max. And then they announced they were going to combine HBO Max with Discovery and just call it like Max. All right. They decided this week they're not going to fold in uh, Discovery to it Good. because they decided uh, we just rather have our own channel and put our stuff there and then we can do stuff for, you know. I thought it was the worst idea I ever heard of. And what did Discovery air? I I'm, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, are they just they have some good documentaries, you know, and uh, oh, okay, wildlife. so we can hear about maybe, the lemurs. Maybe and... house building programs. I don't know. Is that wildlife, wrong? Wildlife. What wildlife? Yeah, there's some wildlife yeah. stuff. There. Yeah, keep it over there. Who cares? I let people subscribe to that if they want to. Didn't they write a series where Sarah Palin was out in the wilderness? I think they did have a Sarah oh, Palin Lord. show about Sarah Palin's uh, oh, he's moose hunting. Book. Moose hunting. Moose hunting. Moose hunting. No, but it was it, Sarah Palin was like taking you on a tour of Alaska and how wonderful it is. And she, Russia. She, she, well, she failed. Um. No, she failed, <laughs> she failed to mention and how wonderful it was that the one drawback was she lives there. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Uh, but uh, anyway, so so HBO Max is, uh, has has changed. Uh, Discovery has changed its tune about HBO Max. And what uh, did you say about Hulu? There was something that you mentioned. Oh, uh, Iger is thinking of Disney is thinking of getting rid of Hulu. Getting rid of it? Yeah, yeah. Selling uh, it sell, off. Selling it off. Yeah. Well, see, what happens is in uh, I think it's January of next year. Disney has to pick up an option. The option, they own 80% of Hulu. The other 20% is owned by, I'm trying to remember who. I think it's I think it's Comcast, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> so they have the option next January of for $2.5 billion buying the other 20% and owning the whole thing. And they're thinking, well, should we pay the two point five billion, or should we cut bait and run and sell Hulu off to somebody else? So I, you know, who knows what's going to happen there? Yeah, but uh, you read it is Comcast, huh? It is Comcast. It is Comcast. Yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, I don't know why Disney bought it and just didn't buy the whole thing immediately, you know, but. Who knows? I think Hulu's terrific, by the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have my subscriptions for TV and a cable replace cut cord, my cord cutting thing with with Hulu. Uh, and uh, they have some great programs on Hulu. I mean, really, of all the channels, I think they actually create the best programming. You know, there's no funnier show on TV than what happens in the dark. You know, so anyway, <clears throat> I'm, I'm feeling, do I sound hoarse, by the way? No. No, I feel hoarse. Is know. what's happening in the dark coming back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that show. No, I mean, they did. They've done good stuff. That that show, um, they have, what they do is they have a lot of FX on there, but FX is also owned by Disney. And... Uh, FX programming is superb. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did this thing with uh, Steve Carell, The Patient. That yes. was good. That was, was good. just good. wonderful. Did you see it, Shaggy? You saw it, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good. Oh, um, I love that show. You know, Marjorie. And I thought they were doing a second season, but you had told me they're not, and apparently they're not. Yeah, no, that that was it. You know, yeah, I, think, yeah. I think Carell felt, I want to do it as a one-off, and that's it. You know? Yeah. It was great. It was great. Well, he gets killed at the end, doesn't he? Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody? Alex? Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I, let me ask you this question, okay? You say no spoilers, okay? Is there an expiration date on that? Oh, yeah, there should be. Yeah, I mean, no, come no, on. Go watch the goddamn show, okay? Next, like one quarter, like maybe I was gonna say, like maybe a quarter, like three months later. 
all bets are off. I, I think, I think three months, that's it. You know? Like, yeah. Like I'll if I was go. to start talking about 1923 right now, some people would probably get pissed off, but because it just aired last night, yeah. but three months from now. I can tell you that I, you know, I, 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 I know that I know the ending of the last of us, you know, you played I, the game. I played, the, played the game. Video game. Yeah. I know how it ends. <laughs> there is a second season based oh. on the se- the sequel game they did which I'm somebody, not committing myself to it well uh, nobody's asking you to do <laughs> just, just please watch one well episode. i'm not that fond of the second game so i i don't know if i really would uh, uh watch it but i probably will uh, uh, I, I'm so old that by the time I watch the show, I won't remember the spoiler anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so life is good. Yeah, Marjorie doesn't. <laughs> Marjorie doesn't remember much of anything the next day. Okay, so like what happened last week on The Last of Us, Marjorie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've really got her hooked. Yeah. <laughs> Vernon, you're By the way, my usual huh. shout out, Chisholm, I watched last night, he had Felicia Collins from the um, Letterman Band as his guest. Really good show. Thank you, Shecky. Part two is even better. And it's longer too. Thank you very much for saying that. I appreciate it very, very much. Yeah, because again, you know, I've known Felicia, God knows how many years. I never really... I talked to her a few times, but this was like really interesting. Hmm. She is an absolute sweetheart. Which and how, how, how about my show? Did you hear anything in the last uh, while that was uh, terrific? <laughs> I didn't think so. No. <laughs> yeah. Ray was asking what show it is. I'll do a cheap plug. It's the Letterman podcast, Ray. Oh, okay. I have to listen to it. Yeah. It's on oh, the YouTube no, as well. I mean, again, I'm, I'm sounding like a shill, but he has had a lot of Letterman people on, Jeff Martin, people like that, Steve O'Donnell, and they're just very, he's a very good interviewer. Hey, let me Thank ask- you for saying that. Let, let, Your it, check is in the mail. I hope you accept Canadian dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, let me ask you. What's the connection things? to Mike? What's the connection of that to, uh, uh, to Mike then? Me to Letterman? Chisholm is a fan. A gigantic enthusiast who wants uh, to go deeper and explore some of these things. And I'm I'm starting, I'm he's doing so well. I'm starting something called the Letterman Podcast Podcast, (laughs) which I have people on from his show. (laughs) But no, seriously, he takes deep dives. Like Jeff Martin is three hours. Felicia yep. is three hours. Yeah. Where you just, you know, and it's not just Letterman. It's about their lives. Yeah. Yeah. L- let me ask you this, though, Shecky. I, I watch uh, these uh, Letterman things on YouTube, right? Where they yeah. have like uh, some of the writers or a producer or something uh, talk about their favorite things over the years that they liked, you know. And they, you, you've seen them, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, I, I was watching it. And for instance, they had somebody on who was only working at Letterman for three years. You know, and I'm going, boy, they're getting down to the bottom of the barrel on this. Well, again, I'm going to joke for a moment. My friend Randy, who you, you know, you always hear me speak about. Yeah. She was taping one of those things. She goes, I don't know what the hell to talk about. Yeah. Well, the thing was. I kept thinking to myself, they got somebody who only worked there for three years, and yet, have they asked you to do it yet? Oh, no, they would die if I would do it, but I don't want to do it. Why don't you want to do it? I got nothing to say. Or just because Shecky knows where the bodies are buried. Stories that, you know, Chisholm would hear. He's heard them, you know. I mean, the other day there, I can't remember who it was, was saying that they did this or that. And then they inserted a piece of film that was given to us by Rick Sheckman. We always called his stuff Shecky film. Yeah. No, Shecky footage. Shecky footage. Well, he said film, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Um, but it's things like, you know, the Bill Murray doors, because in that first show at CBS, Bill Murray threw open the doors on 53rd Street. So they were always known to us as the Bill Murray doors, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> That's you know, we're going out of the Bill, you know, it would be like we're going out of the Bill Murray doors for whatever, you know. <laughs> Mandy's been working a lot today, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice to see you there, you know. I'm, I'm listening. I am listening. I'm just, you know, I'm okay. able to somehow. She's yeah. the only one of us who has a job. She's doing, oh, w- yeah. Yeah, she's she's doing one- W-2s for the end of the year. I'll tell you what you should do every day, M- Mandy. You should send out a mass text mm-hmm. to all the people on this panel and tell yeah. them what day it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, next Monday apparently is George Washington's birthday or something. Everything's closed. Yeah. It's President's Day. I'll be off. Is it President's Day? Yeah. 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 It's family day up here in Canada. For whatever reason, we get that holiday. Is that what sure. it's called, Mike? Ours, our February 20th holiday is called family day, yeah. Tell them when yeah, Thanksgiving is. Holiday. Tell them when Thanksgiving is. It's in October, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Early harvest. Now, 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 kid, we got two holidays, Lincoln's birthday and George Washington. Yeah, absolutely. But you know yeah, what they, you know what they did? You know what they did? Yeah. And it was the Negro's fault. Yeah. Uh, so what they did is they had to give Martin Luther King a birthday, so they took the two president's days, which were like about a week apart, maybe eight days oh, apart, something like yeah. that, and yeah. and they combined them and call them president's, president's day. day. The New York City Sanitation Department still celebrates Lincoln's birthday. <laughs> yeah, I have to put my garbage out tonight instead of last night. And they, do they really? celebrate Martin yeah. Luther- do they celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday in the South? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In Texas, but, wait, I think there's right. one, isn't there one state that doesn't? However, Arizona, Arizona? they Arizona. rejected it for a while. I don't know if they still it or not. Time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a federal let me, holiday. Let me just ask you this, Mike. So you have Thanksgiving in October. Yes, sir. Early Thanksgiving harvest. Thanksgiving came first. Ours or yours? <laughs> Uh, well, you guys were 1776, right? So yeah. you're, you're, I would think yours came first because oh, you okay. came before we did. When did you become a country? <laughs> well, they still aren't they under the queen or oh, the oh, king now? Well, I think, yeah, probably, we're in the Commonwealth. I think probably but... because of his silence, the answer is we aren't a country yet. <laughs> yeah, the jury's still out. Um, <laughs> no, 67, uh, 18, 1867, I want to say. Oh, okay. But I'm going to check that right now. I might get kicked out of Canada, everybody. Hold, please. You might, kick, <laughs> get kicked, you might be kicked out of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> 1867, I was right. 1867. Okay. Yeah. So we, our, July Thanksgiving, one. our Thanksgiving was first. So you got to start celebrating at this time. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'll talk to the power. Third Thursday in November. So when did we start? Quote celebrating Thanksgiving in the United States. Just looking. At Just it. go along with me on this one. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to have to give in to to Chisholm here. With this argument. I get that a lot. Hey, listen. You know something? I looked at the clock. Time is up. Boy, what a nice group of people. I just so enjoy this show. It's just so enjoyable, and uh, uh, I hope the people watching it enjoy it as much. Rick Sheckman, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, and uh, Marjorie Miller, thank you so much. What's for dinner? Oh, yeah, leftovers, right. <laughs> Scott Boddicker, thank you. Charlene, nice to have you with us. Uh, Len LaFrisco, wonderful. Uh, Mike Chisholm, terrific. Uh, listen to his podcast. Uh it's called the Letterman Podcast. And then, of course, my show, which is starting next week, the Letterman Podcast Podcast, <laughs> so, in which my guest next week will be Mike Chisholm. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Charlie Wallace, thank you. Paul Levin, always love seeing you, Paul. Uh, Vernon Nunn, great to see you. Mandy, your hair's looking terrific today, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Take that. Uh, yeah. Are, are you letting it grow longer? Is that yeah. it? 
I guess so. I'm getting it cut Friday. It needs it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. You're going to get a crew cut. Okay. And <laughs> finally, uh, Ray. Thank you, Ray Renati, for being with us. Uh, and uh, thank you to all of us for being here. And then we finish off the program with Edward Berger and the immortal words. That's all, folks. Give <laughs> a big wave goodbye. Okay, see you later. Bye.